hello guys i hope you are doing really really well today i am going to show you the keyboard shortcuts that you can use in your uh, day to day life when you working on the computer uh, or, or on the uh, laptop so a uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts will make your life easier you don't have to use your mouse and it will make you more professional okay guys so let's start uh, with the keyboard shortcuts that you can use in your uh, daily life and it will make your work easy guys so the first keyboard shortcut i will show you is control a control a is to select all uh, the uh, all of the document all of the text in the document so i will uh, show you uh, with the example uh, for example uh, you have any word file i will show you here so this is a word file and i want to select all of this text so what i will do i will do control a when i press the control a it will select all of the text file guys i will show you how you guys uh, can do it uh, i will show you here so i now press control a and it is showing me this one so it all uh, already uh, uh, select all of the text in that word file guys okay guys so this is how you can save and then the next one is control b control b is to make your text bold for example you have a text in your word file or uh, excel file or anywhere and you want to make it bold so just press control b just select the uh, the uh, the portion you want to make bold uh, the line you want to make bold and then press control b so here i press control b you can see here it becomes bold okay guys so i hope uh, you getting uh, my point so next one is control c control c is to copy you can copy any folder you can copy any file you can copy any text guys for example i will take you in the word file i have this text as an example so i want uh, i will uh, make it a copy so for example uh, i will select a portion of the text i want to copy so this one i want to copy so i press control c and then to paste it we use control v control v v as in victor so control v when i put it will be pasted so you can see here i copy that and i paste it down okay guys so the next one is control d control d is to delete any file or folder guys so for example you have any file or any folder on your desktop anywhere and you want to delete just select that file or folder just press control d it will be deleted automatically guys so you don't have to do anything here so it will be very easy for you so guys the next one is control e control e is to display the address bar address bar where address bar in your uh, chrome or in your internet explorer so when i press control e it will take me to the address bar directly guys so here you can see here i press control e and it it, it took me already to the address bar so here you can put any address which uh, you want to uh, put okay guys so let's back to the next one the next one is control f control f is to find any file or any folder guys for example you have <coughs> or even you can use for the text for example i have a word here uh, this is the word and i found i want to find a certain word a certain name so i press control f so you can see here i press control f and this new window came and i pre press any word that i want to search just to find so i press this word you can see here and it will automatically highlight it uh, for me uh, uh, in your uh, word file guys so this is for control f so the next one is control g control g is for go to function in ms word or excel file i will show you how you guys can do it for example i have this uh, word file uh, with me and uh, then i will show you how you guys can do it so this is the word file for me so i press uh, control uh, g it will take me to the go to function so go to function you have different different options for example you have a line option paragraph option so for example this is line option yeah so i press number four so it will take me to the number four line so any line you can select it will take you to that line or any uh, go to function you want to use it will help for you so basically the purpose is for uh, the shortcut just to go directly to the go to function so this one control g the next one is control h control h is very important if you want to uh, open the internet browser history what you use on the internet and you want to check just open your internet explorer or chrome or whatever uh, internet explorer you have just press control h it will take you to the history 
so you can see here it will take me to my history of the internet browser and the next one is um, control I it, this one is to make your text italic uh, it will it is using word Excel or PowerPoint so for example you have a uh, you have a what you can say uh, any uh, word file for example I will show you here let's see for example like this one I will select any line okay any uh, phrase or any text and then I press control I so you can see here it automatically change it to italic guys so this is how you can change it into italic the next one is control J control J is to open downloads in internet browser guys so whatever downloads you make and you want to check on your internet explorer in your chrome wherever you are just press control J so this is the history when you press control J it will take you to the downloads I will show you so now I will press control yeah so now I press control J now you can see here it is showing me the downloads option guys so it's very easy for you you can check whatever downloads you have in the past so you can check the next one is control K control K is for insert the hyperlink guys for example you have a, a you in the word file you want to put any hyperlink you can use this control K and uh, when you press control K it will open a new window and here you can put any URL or any hyperlink so it will be easy for you guys to use the control K so this is the control K option the next option is uh, obviously after K it will be L so I will take you to the L the next one is control L control L is for text justification text justification is basically uh, whenever you type on word or where uh, anywhere in the PowerPoint or anywhere and you want to make your text justify just uh, use this uh, shortcut and it will make your text justified guys so it's very important uh, when you uh, work uh, professionally in a different organization you have to make your text justify so just use this option um, uh, as a keyboard shortcut so it will make your text justify guys so you can see here I, I, I showed you already so this is for control L so the next one which is the last one is control M this one is very easy if you want to insert a new slide in your PowerPoint just insert and just press control M it will automatically produce a new slide on your uh, PowerPoint presentation guys so um, uh, I hope this all um, very uh, understandable for you and you guys really like this one and uh, please do like my video please do subscribe to my channel thank you very much guys